Now we're here in Croke Park for the launch of the TG Car uh, All Ireland Championships, and we're delighted to be joined by uh, Dublin captain Sinead Ahern. Uh, Sinead, it's uh, two days since uh, the Leinster final. Uh, give us your thoughts on, on that game. Yeah, it's delighted to get the win. Um, obviously, it's nice to pick up uh, silverware and um, you know first game in the Leinster Championship uh, for us this year, which is uh, probably a bit strange for both teams. But uh, no, uh, it probably wasn't. Um, you know, as, as free flown as, as we would have liked, but um, you know, given that there was no semi final, I suppose, or, or game before that, probably to, to be expected, but delighted to have got the win. Yeah, I suppose that big gap between the um, the league final and the Leinster final, as you say, would have uh, a bit of rustiness in, in the team on the day. It took a little while for you to get going. Yeah, probably the heat as well. I mean, I think we started okay, but uh, probably you know, dropped off the pace after 10 or 15 minutes, and it's probably both teams just adjusted a little bit to the conditions, but um. You know, look, I suppose uh, half time we, we regrouped and, and came out and, and probably executed a few things a bit better. So, um, you know, particularly pleased, I suppose, to, to have got the goals and kind of kept our noses in front through it. Yeah, and they, they, it was very difficult conditions and the, the surface looked pretty difficult to play on as well. The grass was extremely scarce and it was, it was, it was like concrete. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was actually it was nearly a gone past that at that stage. It was uh, it was really like a hay or, or straw, so it, was, it actually had gotten a little bit softer, it was early enough again. But um, yeah, look, it's it's difficult, I suppose, to to judge the bounce at times like that. But I think we'd uh, we'd rather be having those conditions than uh, you know it was a, it was a long winter uh, playing playing with studs for for uh, large large chunks of the league. So uh, look, I think you never complain too much now about the the sun and and, and all the conditions to play championship football in. Yeah, there were some great displays in that game um, as well, um, but particularly your, your own club mate, uh, Neve McAvoy, uh, who won the Player of the Match award. Um, she, she, she was extremely good on, on the day. Yeah, it's hard for Neve. Um, you know, she, she took her, her goals really, really well. So, um, you know, she's always, I suppose, creating uh, chances, um, but uh, really good finishing from her on the day as well. So, um, I think, you know, it's great to see, you know, most of our forwards, I think, if, if not all, got on the score sheet on the day. And, uh, you know, that's, I suppose, positive for us. And looking forward now, it's uh, into the All Ireland Championship. Uh, as most people say, the business end of of the year. Uh, first up is Cavan, um, in in a couple of weeks' time. Um, give your what do you know? Do you know much about Cavan? Uh, you haven't. When's the last time Dublin even actually played Cavan? Yeah, I suppose we look. You know, we probably would play Cavan and a couple of friendlies across the years. But um, you know, it's probably been uh, a good few years. If um, you know, from, from memory, before we would have played in the championship. But um, you know, look, I, I think Division Two league finest this year, unlucky. Um, very tight between themselves and Tipperary not to get up and you know we've seen with Westmead um, coming up last year and, and retaining their, their Division 1 status you know that brought them on massively and it's it's a huge benefit I suppose so um, there's very little I think between between them the teams and uh, you know we, we just know we have to put our heads down and, and work hard and prepare for that game. And then up after that you have your uh, your your old rivals or what's becoming the big rivalry in ladies football uh, you've mailed them uh, the, the following week after that. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, look, obviously we've had um, you know some, some huge battles with them over the last few years, and it's it's usually very tight and um, you know physical and, and you know that kind of thing. So look, you know we'll prepare for that, but ultimately uh, our first our first challenge is is Cavan, and uh, you know that's where our heads are at the moment. Yeah, and Cavan themselves, um, you know they, they would be most people's underdogs in that group. You know, which yourselves and Mayo in there, so it, they can probably play with a bit more freedom. You know, coming up against the, what would be seen as the two big sides in the group. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm sure since they finished the league, um, you know, they've put their heads down, they've uh, they've prepared for it, and uh, probably unlucky not to, to come out with the win against Armagh. But um, you know, they're they're in a position now where they they've they've mayo up in, in two weeks, and um, you know, I'm sure that they're they're going for that. And the, the new format to the, the All Ireland Championship, um, do you, do you actually like the way it's worked out? Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Um, you know, particularly I suppose for for us, um, from only having two teams in Leinster, it's it's good to be able to get a. You know, very competitive championship games, and, and you know, if you come out of your group, then you're you're hopefully going into a, a quarter final, having had that under your belt. So, um, I think it's an interesting uh, uh, revamp to it, and uh, there's some some very interesting group games I'd say to be played across the, the four groups. And I'd say for Dublin as well, uh, you know, with only having one, one championship game, it, 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 you know, last year that w you would have been going straight into a quarter final yep. um, rather than this group. So it, it probably helps Dublin as well to, to get a couple of games under your belt. I think so as well, and you know, it it, um, it, it probably gives you that more um, structure in terms of uh, the, the gaps between games. So uh, there's less time, I suppose, to be able to uh, you know prepare in one way, but also I think you know if if you're if you can get yourself right, kind of coming into your, your first couple of games, and it's it's hopefully just a small turn of the dial. So uh, you know we've we've got three weeks now to our first game, and uh, if we can uh, hit the ground running, then hopefully we can we can press on. And looking at at the championship itself, there seems this seems to be what's going to turn out to be the most competitive 
Ladies Football Championship um, for years. There's there's plenty of uh, sides putting their hand up uh, for uh, the title at the end of the season. Yeah, I, I, you know, I definitely think there's six or seven teams that will have you know multiple eyes on the prize, and uh, you know, there's there's very little as we saw between the teams in the league. So um, I think you know the way the, the draws worked out, it's it's you know teams know the route to the final, they know where they have to be at, and um, you know in, in terms of uh, their group games and you know if, if they come out of that. So. I think it's, uh, it's it's great for the game and uh, hopefully we'll see some, some great games along the way. Okay, well, uh, thanks, Sinead. Uh, best of luck on the 24th against Cavan and I'm sure we'll speak to you during the season. Thanks, Phil.